Ah, uh, let me rest a bit. <sighs> Hello everyone and welcome to Golf Day channel again. Today is Sunday, which is very shiny. And today we are here in Itoshima, uh, which is a very small town on the west side of Fukuoka. I heard that they have a really nice beach and they really have a very really nice seafood that I'm going to try out. But I'm not just gonna walk out there, so today I'm gonna rent a bike and we're gonna cycling there. It probably take like half an hour or maybe one hour, but it's gonna be a bike trip today. So, and yeah, let's see how it's gonna be. Yeah, let's go. I spent like 10 minutes walking from train station through the city to get to the bike rental place that I found on the map. Then finally, I got this bike for 5 hours which cost me only 2000 yen in a very good condition and we are ready for the trip. And a big thanks to the lovely staff who set this up. Wow. Alright guys, so finally, I got the bike. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I got my bike over here, as you can see. And I have my GoPro here, so I'm gonna use this to record when I wrote. And But yeah, let's see. Yeah, I hope it's gonna be fun, yeah. I get on the bike right away to start my journey. It feels really great since I never actually do a bike trip before. I look into the map and point it to the Oyster Bar, which is going to take around half an hour to be there from the starting point. After cycling for a while, I start to think that am I made the right decision for doing this? Because it actually used a lot of energy to cycling on the road, especially for the sunny day like this. But anyway, I'm not gonna just back out now, so yeah, I keep going. After 40 minutes on the road, turns out that I can't find any oyster bar here. Oh, no. All I can see is the construction site all over the place. And at that moment, I realized that this tip got screwed. Oh. Okay, guys. It seems like I disappointed you guys because there is literally nothing here because, and it seems like because this is not uh, an oyster season i didn't know that it's gonna be closed in this season as well but it seems like every place seems to be closed and i can't find anything here so i'm just gonna head back now and probably find something to eat in the way, uh, along the road yeah ah <sighs> really disappointed sorry guys I continue on the road right away looking for anything to eat since I start to get hungry at this point.
After I left the area, I decided to stop for a bit and search for any place on the map where I could get some food. I luckily found this small place on the map which they seem to have a local spicy ramen, so I decided to stop here to have a lunch. They seem to have a variety of choice, and the ramen only cost 650 yen. It's pretty good actually, and it's not that spicy as well. Alright guys, so finally, I managed to find this uh, ramen place. Let's say they have a very special ramen called Tan Tan Men, which is a bit spicy, but it's pretty nice. And especially if you are in the middle of cycling and after an hour of cycling, you probably get tired. So yeah, this place is a very good one. And yeah, I'm probably gonna go somewhere around here, maybe find some place to sit down and to relax and maybe probably spend this afternoon around this uh, Itoshima beach. And yeah, let's keep going guys, yeah. Just in case you have a chance to be in that area, I will drop the link in the description below. And again, I'm back on the road. The map said it will take 19 minutes from the place to the nearest beach called Keya Beach, but it feels so much longer in reality. And yeah, finally, I made it to the beach. Okay guys, after like another half an hour of riding, finally I met this beach, it's called Keya Beach. It looks very quiet, it looks really nice. Definitely for a family or a local who lives around here, they might want to take like maybe one or two hours from the Fukuoka city and they can enjoy a very quiet beach. And the sand is very nice. Uh, I didn't expect to see something like this. And yeah, let's take a walk around. I'm, I'm kind of a bit, a bit tired uh, because I spent a lot of energy trying to cycling my way from the beginning to here. Uh, I'm gonna be here for a bit and probably gonna find something to drink around here. There, there are some several cafes around as well. So yeah, let's see. After rest for a while, it's time to continue to the nearest cafe. One. 
All right, guys. So I'm gonna rest up here a bit, uh, get some drinks, some smoothies, enjoy your life, <laughs> and then we gonna keep uh, heading back. But yeah, for now, I'm just gonna rest. Yeah. Now we are fully head back to where we started. The map says it will take 40 minutes and again, the challenge is not about the time, but it's about the strength that I have left. Do I able to bring myself back there? Alright guys, uh, uh, let me rest a bit. It's, it's kind of a... Uh, it's, I, I just realized that I actually cycling for a really long way. In totally, I, I spent like around... Probably, yeah, around 3 hours already on the road. Uh, it's probably gonna take around half an hour or maybe 40 minutes to get back into this Itoshima city. And yeah, luckily now it's, uh, you know, it's not that sunny anymore. It's like kind of a bit shady, which is making me feel much better on the road. And yeah, wish me luck guys, wish me luck. Then around 4 o'clock, I finally made it back to the town. Hi. Uh, little in this. Yeah. Sorry, I can't speak Japanese. Uh, Sorry. Where are you? Where did you go? Oh, I, I went to Cheta Beach. Uh, very far away. <laughs> <laughs> very tired. Can I grab water? Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you. And yeah, that's the end of today. After rest there for a bit, I decided to went back to Fukuoka city. And congratulations, because we just spent overall around 26.3 kilometers with four players starting from the bike rental and come back. And yeah, we made it back alive. Okay guys, finally I make it back home. Which is very tired, it's a very tired day. But we made it, right? I mean like we we cycling to the beach, we cycling back and forth, even though we didn't find the oyster bar, but it was fun. It, it was a kind of like a challenge for myself, so I, I'm kinda of proud of it today. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna get some rest a bit and we probably gonna find something to eat, so yeah, let's go. I just randomly get into this place, order a cold beer and a set of katsudon and udon soup to refill my lost energy. Alright guys, and that was it. Uh, it's actually a, a very nice and cozy place. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you don't forget to press like, don't forget to subscribe to the Gongster channel and see you next time. Yeah. yeah.